Stretches would be really good for him. Uh, pair of stretches. Yep, Bert does those. So he's really stiff. Yeah, his neck has been. Mm. Has that been worked up over the years, or his neck, or just kind of? Any ones I would. It's not something I would do today, but it's like. Yeah, it's really, really stiff. Yeah. Full stiff. Again, the stretch out, flex down, left and right, at all the different levels would be really good for him. Okay. <clears throat> Hillary Clayton's book, Activate Your Horse's Core, is a pretty good one. That's a lot of stretches in it. Yeah, I know Bert does carrot stretches with him mm -hmm. on a regular basis. Yeah. and. The joke was that I need to go study with the shaman. Okay, I'm 56. I never met a shaman in my life at 56. You know, so I went to Wellington. About 30% of my clients didn't come back because of COVID. You know, and they're wealthy women who just buy every weekend. I got 30% new clients. And I got phenomenal clients, and one of them introduced me to the shaman. Who, in a roundabout way, I got to meet three more shamans. So I met four. Wow. And this year, I mean, they're all pretty close friends of mine now it's, I mean it's just it's just you know the stuff they do is just it's all energetic yeah stuff. yeah you know it's just they all say the same thing you know it's amazing you do that as a vet but duh <laughs> <laughs> that's how you do it you know <laughs> your stupid you know thinking mind gets in the way you know? <laughs> So it's obviously not something you pick up immediately, huh? No, I mean, I, it I takes mean, a there, lot there of... Are, there are some people that are just gifted people that just, for some reason, can do it all. And a lot of them have um, had um, um, like death experiences where they've actually been dead. It's okay. Kind of weird, but for me, it's just a little tiny bit at a time. At least I think. At least I think I become aware of it a little bit at a time. Anyone can do it. You know, it's... You are stiff, buddy. But you know, I accidentally, I've, I've got to work with a horse for my whole career. I'm working with, I mean, you know how much energy they have oh, yeah. all the time. Yeah. You know, you're, you're sensitive to that energy, and if you're not, you get hurt. You know, yeah, yeah. That happens. And um, so, not knowingly, I've been playing with it since I got out of school. You know, and horses have so much more energy than people or dogs. Okay. It's just. Okay. Like this is just really, really tight. Just this ability to, to flex. This will just bend right here really easily. Uh -huh. And it's just, it's just, I feel like my, my neck does today. It's just really <laughs> stuck in the hole. And so that's not going to just come back and adjust. But that comes back a little bit at a time from kind of stretching the capsule and movement. Okay. You don't know. There could be arthritis in there. There could be an injury in there. You don't know. Yeah. Um, Really big, prominent. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. To me, it's just, it's just all of it is just doesn't move as freely as I like it to.
<laughs> See a little shivery? I didn't really yes. watch him go. Yeah. Yeah, I just, by the way, you just turn there. That right hind. Yeah. Yep. But this, like this right here, as I rotate away, it doesn't move very much. Uh huh. No, I mean, I think he's been, he's been going pretty good. He's, yeah. he's, because he was so out of shape, yeah. they haven't done a lot of canter work with him. Yeah. It's been mostly walk and trot and trying to get him to, you know, bend at the neck. And yeah. but this neck is, is stiff, really stiff for the necks I work on. Uh-huh. Um, you know, things like Equipolis, Laser, um, just a good stretch program. Um, all that stuff will If it's, um, it doesn't feel painful, it just feels stiff okay. to me more than anything. It doesn't feel like, ouch. When it's painful, um, and sometimes even when it's just stiff, you are injecting those facets, but that's a big gig. It's a real big deal. Um, Comes a little easier this way to me. This is just a little thing, but it's fun. So do you equate it? I mean, I, I was a runner. Yeah. And, you know, when you don't run for a while, your muscles mm -hmm. tighten up, and then it takes you a while. You know, when you yeah. start stretching again, it takes you a while to get to the point where you yeah. feel loose. Yeah. Um, do you kind of equate his neck the same thing? I mean, it he... If you he, continue to do some stretches and yeah, I think the stretches are I think you know he's got more restrictions than he should, even for everything he does. So I think he does have some <coughs> some stuff. I'm I would be surprised. Um at some point you might want to get next on they're hard to interpret to be honest with you, but they might not. I mean just the thing is you shoot him, it's like okay, well at least you know what it looks like. Um I do a lot with the ultrasound when I have them in the clinic and look at them too and you can tell you can tell if a joint's flared up or not, but I don't get pain. I just get, you know, just really a stiff. Decrease work on um, range of motion. And, hmm. Okay. Yeah, I quit running and biking. Crap. I mean, this is a, after running. This is about as low as I could, you know. I could. <laughs> my legs are so freaking tight from running. So I started doing some other stuff, and it's. I've been working on a lot, but you know, you, then all of a sudden, you know, over time, you get so I could, I can actually squat down. You know, and it's kind of. But I was amazed that you said squat, and I'm like. You know, <laughs> you get stiff from running. 